um, those of you who were here yesterday uh, heard me share the findings of a report and clearly whatever changes is happening in terms of women's business leadership in Europe uh, and maybe in other countries going forward that have adopted the same measures is due to quotas. So I wanted to hear from each one of you what your thoughts are about quotas in general. So I'm starting with you. Yeah. Uh, I think that um, quotas is, is a great instrument. And in, in certain circumstances, I think that could help a lot. And we will see how in Europe, and Germany is a great, uh, a great example that you mentioned before, in which one from the parliament, from the board seats and whatever, is a clear guidance how to that in the North Europe, also in our country as well. And then I think that, uh, that help, uh, helps a lot. Then I think that we need to differentiate two things. We don't have to differentiate the goal, the ambition, with the tools that we, you, we need to use in every single moment. Okay? Then I think to use the goals as something that solve all of the problems in the world is not true and it became a problem for us. I think that we have to make sure that we take the right decisions, that we nominate the people, the get the proper profile, the proper capabilities, and the proper support in, in, that allow her to succeed. If not, sometimes, unfortunately, just because of the quotas, has been nominated people that later on the finger pointer that don't have the profile, that seem to be pretty well, and later on is, uh, is dismissed. That. I think that depending on the circumstances, I think that could be uh, a useful, uh, a useful um, uh, mechanism. Uh, uh, but also we have to, I think, I not agree that in the, every single environment, in every single company, we have to impose that. Because it's not the same, one company, a small company with 50 employees, in which one there are resources, they are very, very limited, the, the big corporations, in which one they have resources, even they have the possibility to have one DNA uh, uh, CEO. But this is not ahead, and this is not the case. Then I think to put purely, uh, that you can to impose, these quotas, I think, is not, is not the right, is not the right solution. For me, the right solution is that we are discussing today is make sure that we uh, make the right uh, uh, appointment. That we are discussing when we define CVs, we do it in a proper way. That we are scanning the whole uh, uh, market potential, and the market potential more than 50% is female, and not just in accounting. In my experience, in a lot of areas, perhaps in engineering, less is growing. Of course, it's not 50 percent, but I can tell you, in the healthcare environment, it's more than 65 percent. Okay, then that means that uh, the proportion of ladies they are very well uh, with a very high level of education. Also, in my MBA, I realized that the best performers. Not by chance, they were ladies, because as you said, you put all effort to have, work harder in order to succeed and to be in the, in the, in the top list. In the top list, then I think that uh, quotas is one tool, but it's not a solution. Okay. Uh, Beata? Well, I, I would like to say that I hate, quote, hate quotas or parities, but I love the results that they could bring. <laughs> Um, uh, let, let me show you one small example. Um, in, po in Poland, uh, let me refer again to Poland. In Poland, um, six uh, years ago, I mentioned about transformation that happened 26 years ago. And when we had, we are approaching to the 20th anniversary, um, there were so many events being prepared. And we realized that only men are going to you know, show or, or, or celebrate that this is their achievements, what, that we achieved freedom, democratic, uh, democracy in the country, etc., were our women. So women at that time decided to gather together and organize a Congress of Women. We thought about conference. It was seven years ago. We thought about conference. Within two and a half months, we organized a conference, conference that gathered three and a, th uh, three and a half thousand women in one room, and then it started. The, the, today the Congress of Women is the biggest civic movement in Poland. Last year, uh, Irene was uh, participating, but last year uh, we uh, gathered close to 10,000 women. Wow. 
for one and a half day e event. From all, all over Poland, uh, they come and, and, and we discuss not the, you know, women's problems, issues. We discuss global issues because, you know, we also have the, the right to, to talk about that. Of course, we invite men as well. Um, but, but what I wanted to say, one of the uh, goals or uh, results after the first Congress of Women was to propose to the Parliament the law that would introduce parity for women who wanted to go to the political um, uh, environment, who want who, for women to, to promote women to be uh, to be more present in in, in the parliament, and uh, so so we proposed the draft law uh, offering quota, actually offering uh, parity, but then we we finished the quotas uh, that women would have. The 35% on the lists. Party lists. Party lists. So the party has to offer 35% for women. Then people will decide for whom to vote, but women have to have, 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 to have, have chance. You know, uh, and the parliament approved that approach. Now, uh, after uh, you know, those five years, uh, now we see the results. There are more women that win elections. But the more important is that there are more women who are ready to be candidates. Because this is the question. You may introduce parity and or quotas and those who are against would say, okay, so we will promote those who are who cannot afford themselves, who cannot who, who cannot prove that they are good, so because of quota you will have women. No. You have I mean this I mean the result of our um, idea was to motivate women to be better prepared and to 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 to, to give them to, to empower them because what 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 we women very often we we give up to uh, too, too early uh, and and we we are we well, we we talked about lack of self confidence but we think okay this is not for me probably i will not have the chance so now having this quota uh, we mean you, you, you even don't imagine how active they became to because they know they will have the chance to be on a on a on a, on a, on a, a party list and then so a quota is a door <coughs> both of you are saying that but in order for it to work very well it's a door for women to enter you must work on the pipeline whether it's political or business um, I should tell all of you Poland is the only country I've seen where they can gather 10,000 women in one spot. Wow. I have never seen such a thing in my life, and I've been a, an activist for over three decades. Not only did the Congress of Women push for the quota law for women in parliament, they created a shadow government. They have a prime minister, they have, and they have one for each ministry. And you know what? They scared the shit out of the government. <laughs> Those actual initiatives to you know specific agencies, and because of the size and the volume of the voices that have been raised, people in government now listen. So it really is a testament to coming together, you know, um, networking, solidarity. So there is no quota in Mexico. So what, what are your thoughts about a quota, whether it's for politics or for business, Patricia? Let me tell you, really I do live in targets, but we need to take advantage of the situation. As an editor, we need to control measures. What control measure is? That we need to target, to need to have uh, people, women, very well prepared for the position, because in the event that it is approved as a quota, we have exactly the right people in the running of that. For sure, I really, 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 in my personal point of view, I said, okay, quotas is not the best. However, the same, I, my colleagues, I, I am completely in agreement that it is a tool. The tool exists, and we need to take advantage of that. We need to prepare people, we need to prepare for that situation. We have quotas in some specific parties that Patty has in a party that they have a quota, 50% uh, candidates, and the party. 
And, uh, and the situation is that it is very good because if they don't have that measure, many excellent skill and very nice people, women, didn't have the opportunity to be in those positions. That's why everything has downside, the bad side, but it is necessary to explore, to take advantage of that, and if this is the way that we can start working, let's, let's do it. Let's say yes. Because why not? Because if it is in Norway, in Germany, in other countries, uh, really, they have started to work on that. They have a very successful women. Uh, by the way, and PwC, the senior partner uh, in Poland and Hungary, is women. And the she, woman. She became she became the head of the whole region. Uh, region. So now she has got thirty five countries. Wow. wow. And in this case, and the name is Olga. And the office is marvelous. Our last um, uh, board meeting was exactly in Warsaw, completely different than the thing that we know. And well, it's marvelous. And in this case, well, it is a tool we can work with that. But our challenge is all the time to hire better women, well prepared, in order to take advantage of those quotas. I believe, I believe personally, that in Mexico, it's going to pursue for that uh, tool in a close future. And if this situation is going to be approved, we believe that we have an excellent women that they are going to take advantage of that. But we need to continue as a mentor in our field of work. We need to prepare those women. We need to be very well prepared, as I mentioned. We need to take all the opportunities that we have as a women. And in this case, if this initiative is going to pass in some countries, okay, we need to support that. But we need to have the people that is the right people. That's right. Okay, great. Now, I was going to ask you, um, we have research, I think I shared some of it last night, that showed that when there are more women CEOs, that when we looked at women CEOs in 36 countries, the percentage of women on boards and the percentage of women in senior leadership was double that of peer companies. Why do you think that is? Any of you. Why do you think we got that kind of result? Because these women are not feminist activists. Sorry, I mean, could you repeat that question? Yeah. Because I, I don't know the report, so... Okay. Last night, I mentioned that we did a study of women CEOs in 39 countries. And it didn't matter what country or which company, the percentage of women on boards and the percentage of women in senior management was double that of peer companies. In other words, oh. male-driven companies they, they, you know, it was like 32% to 15%. And it wasn't as if these CEOs only wanted growth, like any CEO. So why is it that they got that result? My, my personal, I wasn't aware of these results, but don't, for me, are quite logic. For me, make a lot of sense, because I, I guess that uh, the ladies, we are aware of the truly value of the diversity. That is something that from, from the beginning, we grow with this concept in our in our hand. Then from all the positions, if you see any any lady this is a manager, despite it would be a manager, or we try to have a diverse team. Then as consequence of that, when you become a CEO, for sure in a natural way without needed quotas or whatever, you have a very good balance on that. And for uh, unfortunately for the men, they don't have this tradition. Then for them it's quite easy, what is my club, my oh, friends, my business school my colleagues, my previous experience. Because you have out. seen in you know in your own work yeah. people who look like yeah. you. So you want yeah. to But we them. we have to, to develop sometimes from a scratch our things. Because uh, uh, usually we have been in a lot of occasions alone, we have been the only ladies in the management team. Then when we have to create our teams, we said, okay, I don't know if I'm not to the previous one because it was not perfect. Then then we have to make a truly scanning of the market. Mm. For the reason for me, it's quite logical. Okay, that's so a quickly, just quick answer from me. Yes, I, I didn't know this report, but I, I, I was thinking about that, e that, and, uh, uh, that, that issue, and uh, my conclusion is that those who are CEOs are 
enough mature uh, and uh, understand the topic uh, deeper. So they are clever enough to invite, invite more women. So in other words, I think that this is in our interest to have more women around ourselves, in order not to be a minority. That's one thing. But another thing, you may have also different examples. If you have to see a woman, then she becomes a man. She becomes a real male. If I were able to do it, so each woman, each, each of you can do it. So I, 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 I'm not interested in supporting you because, you know, I am the best. And I think that the solidarity among women, what was mentioned, is something uh, something that we have to we have to emphasize and repeat. We should build our network. We should be solidar uh, uh, among ourselves. Otherwise, who is going to help us? Who is going to to assist or to to to, to show you have the opportunity there? So the solidarity among women. Wonderful. So, um, quickly. You have the last word. Why do you think we got those results? Well, the result is adaptation. Because all of us are the power of adapt at any circumstances. And then sometimes men know. The world is in that way. If they don't go to that pattern, they are not going to do it. And now we have all adaptation during the day. What happened at home, everything should be in the proper way, or in the best way, in the work with the women, in the solidarity with all of us, and we try to go. And really, really, we are stuck sometimes, and we said, okay, let's go, and we can do it in any way. And that's why, if we are open, and if we have that sense of thinking, we are going to do better things. Great.